Senior High School's first radio program, SOAR, Soar. Soar. Seniors On Air Radio, where you can listen to music you want straight from our playlists. Don't change that channel yet because SOAR is ready to put the you in youth. SOAR, Seniors On Air, here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. The Jesuit Hour. Wait, what? No! Let's try that again. Join the fun bunch of the Hugot Hour with Father J-Boy as we talk about anything and everything under the sun. Share your everyday Hugot moments and everyday Hugot quotes. G, tara na! Usap tayo! Bring your own baon! Bring your own Hugot! The Hugot Hour with Father J-Boy and Friends gathers every Monday at 6.30 to 8 in the evening. Only here on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. Want to find out more about the famed org community of the Ateneo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wondering what projects and initiatives our student organizations are currently up to? Yeah, yeah. Curious to hear the perspectives and motivations of the different people that make up the org community? Yeah, yeah. Tara na pag Kuntuhang MVP takes you to the vibrant and passionate organization community of the Ateneo de Manila. Tune in every Friday as we catch up with our student leaders and our organizations and find out how they're continually pushing forth with their advocacy. Kuntuhang MVP, taking the MVP to you. To listen to music that uplifts the soul, Follow Justcom PH on Spotify and Justcom Music on YouTube. Our music is also available on iTunes and Deezer. Welcome to the Rundown, where we take you right into the action with the latest sports news, updates, game previews, breakdown, and analysis in, around, across, and beyond the Ateneo. And now, let's get ready to run down! Radyo Katipunan. News, insights, inspiration. Radyo Katipunan. Down from the hill and down to the world. Radyo Katipunan. The voice of the Blue Eagle. Rejoice, refresh, renew, and reflect. Join us for an hour of music that uplifts the soul. Listen to your favorite Jesuit music ministry artists. This is JMM Radio. JMM Radio. Get your day's dose of inspirational music. Tune in to JMM Radio every Wednesday from 1 to 2 p.m. Only here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. God is 
Thank you.
Okay, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Happy Easter! Welcome to JMM Radio, the radio program of the Jesuit Music Ministry. Ako po si Lester Medion. Good evening and of course, uh, it's another hour of talk and music that uplifts the soul. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat and welcome again to another edition of your JMM Radio only ear on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. Of course, ako po si Justin Pontino. And we're coming into you live from our homes via, of course, the 87.9 FM frequency band if you're within Katipunan and Ateneo areas. You can also listen to us via our online radio streaming at jescom.ph slash radio katipunan. At of course, napapanood po kami ngayon live sa inyong uh, mga social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Of course, uh, at our handles uh, sa Radyo Katipunan at Jescom and Ateneo de Manila University and also, of course, uh, sa ating Jesuit Music Ministry fan pages. Ayan. Magandang magandang gabi sa'yo, Les. Good evening, Justin. Ah, map- mapapanood nyo rin kami sa YouTube. Nasa Radyo Katipunan po kami sa YouTube. Tapos, if you're not yet subscribed, sa aming YouTube page, uh, please click on subscribe. Yes, of course. And of course, don't forget the uh, no, notification bell so that you can get uh, updates from us right away. Ayan. Yes. Okay. Ayan. Ako. Uh, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> two weeks time in question, Jas. Oh, two weeks din. Na, no? Kasi nga, uh, we have uh, uh, gone through the... Holy Week, and of course, now we are in uh, Easter season, finally. Yeah, of course. At uh, medyo nag uh, long, ano lang, long vacation, no? <laughs> so, ayan. Uh, ikaw, kamusta ang, ano, kamusta ang Easter sa'yo? Um, well, yung Holy Week, um, okay naman. Um, very excited ako dun sa Holy Week. Kasi di ba, pagkatapos ng dalawang taon, that's the first time that we're able to gather together yung mga liturgical celebrations natin. Um, last year, parang we were planning already yung mga activities natin sa simbahan, pero hindi natuloy, di ba? Parang um, ang taas ng mga COVID cases, so we had to um, transition once again to online. Ayan. So, It was exciting um, and parang ano, parang medyo stressful din siya kasi ang oh. ano yung mga paghahanda, di ba, just yung oh. preparation. Tapos kakanta ka ng nakamask, so med- medyo mahirap yon Pero parang oh. um, mas okay na lang na gawin natin yan para safe tayo. Oo, diba? oh, oh. correct. And... Ikaw, Ayun, syempre, na-miss natin talaga no, yung pagsiselebrate. Uh, kasi nga for the past two years, we have not been able to to do it in in the church mismo, di ba? Most of us uh, have been doing it either online or uh, in the church pero walang mga tao, di ba? So, Malala ko last year, yung Easter Vigil natin via Zoom pa eh, di ba? Oo, no? that, was a, that was a first, di ba? Kasi... Um, di naman natin yung usually ginagawa but again because of the pandemic we had to adjust and uh, you know thankfully uh, this year we were able to uh, finally celebrate it you know, back in the church uh, kaya tama no I agree it's both exciting and at the same time stressful kasi syempre ang daming paghahanda Siguro for a time dahil nga nawala tayo ng dalawang taon, pagla tayong na ano, yung kailangan Ay, natin mag-review. Ma- oh, paano nga ba yung gagawin? <laughs> oh, oh, parang bigla tayong nawala sa circulation eh. So kaya uh, we had to adjust and update ourselves again, no. Kaya para hindi tayo mahano, magkamali. Uh, and ayun na nga, no. Uh, and uh, we were able to pull it off naman and uh, I think no It has been a meaningful. It has been made more meaningful because we were able to celebrate it back in the church. Kaya eh, nakakatuwa. I'm pretty sure lahat po ng ating mga kapatid no na nanonood ay ganun din ang nararamdaman. No? They were they were happy uh, that uh, you know the liturgy is back 
uh, it, it never went out naman eh. I mean, hindi naman na, nawala yung Pero, bitter tea. It was just in a different setting, di ba? Yeah. So, 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 mga nanonood sa akin, Justin, um, you can tell us how was your Holy Week. You can uh, type in your comments in the comment section and then yes. uh, we'll read it later. And uh, ayun na nga, no? speaking of mga ganap, no? uh, nakalipas na ang Holy Week and uh, this, this, uh, this coming, ano na, no? we're, kasi we're at almost at the end of the, the stretch of April no? and we are uh, about to uh, uh, come into the month of May which is also another exciting month kasi uh, alam naman natin no? bilang mga... <laughs> bilang mga Pilipino, uh, ito ay uh, buwan ng uh, uh, ano ng uh, pagtutuo. Sa pagtutuo talaga. <laughs> ito ang oh, para sa ating mm-hmm. napakahalagang event. Yes. Sa ating so... buhay bilang mga Pilipino dahil tayo ay uh, we will exercise our right to Oo. choose the leader. Yeah. The leaders that will serve us. Okay, tandaan nyo ha, leaders that will serve us ha, not, <laughs> not a serving you ha. <laughs> Oo, so pipili po tayo ng ating mga leader no, na magsisilbi sa atin at mag-lead sa atin. Uh, so darating na, of course, na May 9 elections. How do you feel about it, Lester? Anong, anong mga initial thoughts mo on the, on, on the upcoming election? Initial thoughts um, or feelings sa ngayon? Ay, ako, ang general feeling ko ngayon is very hopeful kasi um, parang um, ito yung halalan na parang uh, yung mga tao ay talagang super invested in um, emotionally, physically, at kung ano-ano Maybe. pang mga aspeto ng buhay natin. No? Um sana tuwing halalan ganon <laughs> palagi <laughs> tapos um, sana hindi lang tuwing halalan yes yon okay. isang kot ayon pero ako hopeful ako just kasi yung sa kandidato kung sino suportahan um, we've been doing some house to house and other efforts as well to campaign so yes. tapos nakikipag-usap on the ground maraming nakikilala tapos maraming mga kaibigan na ngayon ko lang nakilala dahil dun sa kampanya. So, parang ano yan. Kasi nung, when was the last election? Was it 2016? 2016, yes. Parang it was different. Eh. It was a different environment compared to now. So, it's exciting. It's, I feel hopeful. Um, at the same time, nakakakaba, di ba? Yes, correct. Oo. Kasi, uh, sabi nga nila, no, um, Ito na, ito, ito na rin siguro yung isang panahon na talagang uh, all stake no, the stakes are very high no uh, kasi talagang uh, we are talking about uh, the future of our country uh, kaya naman lahat ng tao ay uh, talagang tutok at uh, I'm yun, as you as you have said no a lot of us are invested on of course uh, the, uh, the the leader that we think uh, uh, kumbaga, who, who can lead us no Do we yeah. are investing on these candidates na talagang pinaniniwalaan natin and whoever candidate you support no uh syempre, of course uh, we ang pakiusap lang naman namin eh uh, sana ay Ma, ma, ma mabigyan ng hustisya no nung inyong kandidato yung talagang pinaglalaban ninyo uh, na na mga advocacies uh, yung mga gusto nyo yung mga hangarin nyo para sa bansa and yeah. i hope that also we we campaign for them uh, in a truthful in a uh, civil manner ayan no kasi alam niyo naman marami marami tayong naririnig din ng mga balibalita na uh, may may ganitong issue di ba yung mga nagtat nag uh, parang we're mudslinging each other yung mga ganon no sa so, sana tigilan yeah, po friend. natin yung mga ganon oh to up to a point na yung mga magkakaibigan <laughs> nag nag unfriend ng mga friends sa sa ano sa social media at uh, nagbabash no and yung mga trolls din so ano siguro sana iwasan na po natin or mag 
bagong buhay na po kayo. <laughs> <Yun na lang. laughs> uh, but anyway, ayan. So again, we are looking for uh, we're looking forward to uh, some exciting times ahead, you no? Know? Uh, but at the same time, uh, let's continue to pray. Yun. Let's yes, continue to pray. Maging mapayapa mm-hmm. at uh, maging maayos yung ating uh, exercise. Correct. Oh. o na maghalal na at maghalal na mga okay. yes okay. yes okay so ayan medyo nagka napahaba at napasarap yung ating ano kumusta at yes. nakalimutan na natin meron tayong Karap programa tayo, yes. ngayon <laughs> oh actually this is the third part of our um JMM special kasi we're introducing to them yung mga songs that we produced Uh, we recently released an album noong Good Friday. Pero hindi lang po pang Good Friday itong album na ito. Yes. Um, itong All Things Are New, itong album for the Ignatian Year. Um, yung unang kanta na pinatugtog natin sa simula nating programa, ang title niya ay God is Here. It's performed yes. by our friends from the Lighter Side Movement and composed by uh, Sir Noel Miranda. arranged by Dennis Grospe and yun nga, featuring Maria Rina, Paula, Palma Cruz. Ayan. Nung, nung finiture natin to eh, a few weeks ago, pero hindi natin napakinig ng buo kasi pa-release pa lang yung kanta. So, yan po yung uh, isa sa mga bago naming out. Yes. And she was our guest no, 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 uh, to talk mm-hmm. about Uh, oh well, not only her, no. Si ano den si Dennis then the the arranger uh, yeah, yeah. was our guest from our uh, last episode, no, to talk about the, the song. At uh, ayun nga kanina na pakinggan natin siya ng buo. At uh, tama si Dennis, no. It's not uh, kaya nga ano eh. It's it's not only for for Good Friday or for the Holy Week. It's for all time sake, ika nga. <laughs> so, uh, hindi lang siya, ano, kaya nga, di ba, all things, di ba, all things in you. Uh, sabihin, for all seasons. Yeah. Because it's a, pre- right. it, it, it's a, you know, uh, uh, the songs are, of course, uh, you know, it's ve- it will really invite you to, to be in a, a state of prayer. So, ayan. So, supportan niyo po yan. Of course, it's already available. It's already out in the uh, in uh, all of our digital markets, of course. Uh, like uh, digital music platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, and uh, of course, your uh, whatever your favorite uh, digital music platform is. It's already there. So, so we'll paste in the link. Um, just in case uh, mahi- hindi nyo ninyo mahanap um, we'll right. paste the link sa comment section yes and tonight uh, of course uh, is, uh, as mentioned it's part three of our uh, new music uh, series at uh, of course we will be featuring another of our uh, releases no? uh, for for this album no? and we will be of course having with us tonight the uh Arra- ano ba to? arranger or the composer of the song and as well as the interpreter of uh, our new sing uh, our new release uh, song so siguro let's go ahead pakilala na natin ang ating mga makakasama ngayong gabi no oh, itong itong bago nating itong awit that we will uh, feature tonight it's actually a cover um ang title niya ay the summons it's uh, composed by John Bell and Graham mall. Um, tapos yung ating mga guest ay yung uh, nag-perform at, yung, at nag-arrange siya ang kanta na ito. Ayan. So unahin natin um, sa ating arranger. Ayan, ang ating arranger ay uh, galing sa Iloilo. Actually, nasa Iloilo pala siya ngayong gabi. Um, yung The Summons is his first project with the Jesuit Music Ministry. And uh, I'm not sure if this is accurate but he is a uh, music conservatory music student correct me if i'm wrong later but uh um from the parish of father neo no father neo saikon sa iloilo ah hi father neo magandang gabi if you're watching please welcome si joao solas hi joao magandang gabi wow. bakit ka muna sa ating mga katapitin good evening everyone so 
Nilabas daw Mark Joss. Naku, nahanan lang yun. Ay! <laughs> Oo nga. Mukhang may, may paghahandang. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> na, 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 nagulat ako doon. Ha? May mga mic. Oo. Sige, go ahead. Ano, Joe? <laughs> okay. Maraming salamat po, Sir Justin and Sir Lester. So, sa ating tagapagkinig, no? maayong gabi sa inyong tanan. That's how we greet. Good evening here in Iloilo. So, maayad-ayad na gabi. Maayong gabi. And thank you for having me here. And thanks yeah. for joining us, of course, uh, Joao. Ayan. And uh, syempre, we also have uh, with us the interpreter of uh, the summons, no? Ang ating bagong uh, i-release na awitin. At kilala natin siya bilang isang miyembro oh. ng uh, ating, uh, of course, no, one of our uh, JMM artists, ang Bukas Palad Music. Idol, Music. idol. Oh, <laughs> Lodi to, ito, Lodi to oh. eh. Oh. Of course, he has uh, recorded a number of songs with us. Uh, of course, uh, aside from uh, with Bukas Palad, uh, he also have uh, parang mga solos no, and covers as well. Among these include The Way of the Cross, San Ignacio Kawal Ni Cristo, and My Soul Longs, my soul longs for you, which he incidentally also composed. Uh-huh. So, friends, please welcome uh, John Basil Dungo. First time, hey, Basil. First time on JMM Radio. First time on JMM Radio, tama? Yes, yes, yes. First time on JMM Radio. Thank you so much for having me. Hello, hello. Wala akong microphone, hindi ako handa. Oo nga eh. Kaya nga nagulit. <laughs> parang oh, na- parang ano nagsama-sama tayo mga singkit ngayong gabi. <laughs> Oo oh, nga no. <laughs> I didn't Pero, know. <laughs> oh, sin- ayan no, nakaano tayo gallery tayo. Sino yung pinaka singkit? Parang yung ano si Basil, no? <laughs> si Basil. <laughs> pa sa akin, sorry. <laughs> Oo. Oh, ang pinaka chink sa ating lahat talaga. Ayan. Anyway, ayan, so sila pa mga kasama natin ngayong gabi. Talk about of course our latest uh Upcoming, ano ba, upcoming release or na-release na to, di ba? Tama ba? Yes, yes. we already Uh-oh. released it. Yep. Oo. Uh, yung The Summons. Ayan. So, siguro, uh, unahin natin munang, ano, uh, kilalanin, no, yung ating mga panauhin, no. Uh, una, just tell us briefly how you, uh, kumbaga how, uh, parang, where did your passion for music began? Ayan, siguro. So, so unahin natin siguro si... Ano, uh, yung ating composer, ayan. ay, arranger rather, si Joao. Kasi nabangit niya kanina ni Lester, you, are you a current student of the Conservatory of Music of which conservatory do? Um, so, once again, good evening. No? Um, I graduated na po. Uh, I think, ah, sorry, okay, graduated na. Okay. Uh, University of San Agustin Conservatory of Music. And currently, I am also taking my MA in composition uh, in UST, po, no? graduate school. Mm. Uh, student ka pa rin, technically. Uh, student current, but... Pero graduate student. Okay. okay. So, ayun. So, y- yun yung passion mo talaga, uh, it started, uh, ano ba, with, uh, with what? Uh, singing or playing instruments, ganyan? Um, actually po, no, sir, no, um, when I was still in high school, uh, by the way, doon din po ako sa Ateneo po nag-high school sa Ateneo de Iloilo. So I started mm. po playing um, sa guitar and then I joined the Sonata Club. And then later po, no, um, parang nakita ko, parang na-feel ko na uh, maybe no, I, I am into music. And that's why po, when I graduated po, um, uh, I decided po to enroll in uh, the Conservatory of San Agustin. And then parang doon na po, nagtuloy-tuloy na yung aking musical journey. At the same time po, uh, parang happy naman ako kasi when I was a student, maraming mga projects na dumadating, maraming mga choir na tinuturuan, maraming mga gigs. no. So And then parang parang it started na parang passion tapos uh, yun again passion naging profession at the, at the same time parang kahit pagod ka sa iyong ginagawa pero dahil passion mo kaya nag-enjoy ka so ganun lang po sir kung sino man ang holy week ninyo diyan sa Iloilo Joao ang um, actually uh, sir Les no this is the first time na nag holy week kami dito sa Iloilo na meron kaming procession kasi mm-hmm. last uh, two years na po, di ba, sa pandemic. So, ngayon, nag-way of the cross kami. At the same time, 
parang first time, parang naiyak talaga ako, no? Kasi two years, last year, and then the year before that, sir, maliit lang yung tao sa simbahan. Pero um, during the Holy Week, this Holy Week, parang napuno siya, sir. Parang first time kong nakita ulit na puno ang simbahan, no? So, ayun. Tapos, um, especially, uh, by the way, sir, gusto ko lang, sir, i-shout out yung conductor namin sa Santa Maria Parish Grand Choir, si Sir Jomel, no? At saka yung mga members na nanonood, nanonood sila, siguro, sir, no? Um, Ayan. Gusto ko lang i-shout out. Uh, i-shout hello, po. Okay. Hello, if you're watching, guys. Hello. So, Ayan. parang, parang mas na parang mas naging times two times three talaga no yung ara uh, ang yung pagpraise mo kay God kay, uh, through singing through playing because you know na parang this is the first time na after two years tapos maraming tao so parang dapat kami sa choir dapat mag double time din kami to help no to aid the people sa kanilang prayer with um, choosing the correct songs, the beautiful, uh, uh, yung mga beautiful songs so that makatulong talaga kami sa dasal ng tao. No? Kasi yun nga, as I mentioned earlier, first time in two years na parang wow, fully packed, no? parang puno yung church. Pero as I mentioned that, syempre, basic safety protocols pa rin yung pinafollow kahit fully packed yung church na, na- no. Ayun nga, di ba? Kasi kanina, you were saying na ang hirap kumanta. <laughs> Lalo na sa mga korista. Apakahirap kumanta ng, ng ano, no? Na nakamask, no? Eh, it, and ano, no? Di ba? Dahil nga kababalik lang natin. Lalo na yung Easter Vigil, di ba? Yun ang pinakamahaba sa, sa ano, eh. Sa mga uh, triduum celebration natin, no? Ah, uh, na ano no yung maraming kanta so parang i can imagine na hirap na hirap din yung mga mga kapatid natin na uh, na umawit noon di ba ikaw ano uh, Basil ayan ikaw how, how was your holy week naman ba ah uh, ako umuwi ako ng ano umuwi ako ng Pampanga for holy week may uh, uh, naman yan lagi namang ako umuwi ng Pampanga what was different this time around katulad ni na Sir Joao Uh, naka-serve ako sa Triduum din no? for the first time. Hindi lang ngayong pandemic kasi actually yung kusang kami nagsaserve sa Pampanga, maliit lang siya na home for the aged. Chapel lang siya na maliit. So usually hindi doon ginagawa yung mga Triduum activities. Diba? Usually sa parishes yun. Eh. Pero I think in allow this time around no, eh, um, na, na isaganap doon sa maliit namin chapel. At sobrang nakatuwa. First time kong nakapag-serve but first time kong talagang nakakita ng isang very intimate na na tridom celebration from um yung mass actually even from the mass from the Monday Thursday hanggang sa Easter vigil no kita mo may mga mga teenagers na talagang ng veneration of the cross nakaluhod talaga nagdarasal nung Easter vigil ang daming mga nakasama namin na kumakanta rin habang inaawit namin yung mga responses. For example, nung unang kinanta ulit yung, yung Gloria, yung Alleluia. It was such a uh, blessing, I would say, no? na after two years of uh, captivity, <laughs> of, uh, of, yes. the, you know, of being away from the church, uh, finally, finally, di ba? most of us are, are at home. At uh, we feel at home habang nasa misa tayo ulit. Nakatuwa. <laughs> Totoo yan. And it's very, you know, it has been a moving experience for a lot of us, no? Especially those who miss uh, the celebrations at the church. Uh, ikaw, Basil, of course, we know you for, we know, of course, na, you know, doon nga, Lodi ka nga namin, di ba? <laughs> sa, sa ministry. But uh, you started singing, uh, you started your, your, ano, your, your, ministry or your your singing ano ba singing ba or you started your passion in music for uh, when ano paano ba da- dancing actually De, joke lang hindi <laughs> sample sample <laughs> papasample pa naman kami dito actually <laughs> pasiran ang ano ang radio kasi hindi ah yung yung tatay ko kasi uh, ex seminarian siya at sobrang laking fan siya ng Bukas Palad Music Ministry. So, growing up, alam mo yun, yung mga kaklasiko, 
mga kinakanta, mga e-heads, mga River Maya songs. Ako hindi ko memorize yung mga kantang yun. Memorize ko yung mga kanta ng Bukas Palad Music Ministry. <laughs> so, so yun, I think doon nagsimula yun. Um, tapos nagtuturo rin siya ng choir kasi tumutugtog yung tatay ko. So, uh, sa pilitang kaming sumali sa choir, at syempre, diba, doon kami naging mas familiar sa mga sa mga songs. Doon na-enrich yung faith, I guess, and doon uh, nabuo yung parang the will or the the hunger to to serve. Ayun, doon nagsimula, doon nagsimula sa Pampanga sa isang maliit na chapel. So sobrang uh, sabi niyo lodi, di ba? Pero sobrang blessing for me na nakakasabay kong kumanta almost every week yung mga lodi ko talaga. Yung mga yung mga naririnig kong nag-record yung mga nar- pinapanood ko lang before. So uh, up to this day, up to this day, sobrang surreal ng feeling na I'm able to to partake in that. Yeah. Yes. And of course, Lodi ng lahat talaga, of course, ang ating uh, bukas pala. No? Ang ating mga kapatid sa bukas pala. Pero, pero just sabihin ko lang, ha, pag, pag tinignan yung feed ni Sir Joao, Lodi rin yung choir nila. Napakahusay. Then, kaya dahil naging friends na kami, oh. dahil naging friends na kami from, ano, from this song, diba? nakikita ko na yung mga posts nila sa feed nila. Na. Sobrang nakakatawa pag narinig mo yung choir nila na kumakata. Ayan. Okay, we'll check that out. Oh. Ayan. Okay, ayan. So, ah, yes, let's go ahead, sorry. Nag- nag- nag-agree lang ako kay, ano, kay Basil. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Kasi nakikita ko rin yung mga, ano, yung choir sa, ano, ilo-ilo. Ayan. Oh, ayan. Oh, hopefully, no, kung, you know, if one of these days, diba, we get to invite them over and, you know, sing for us. Ayan. Why not, diba? Yes. Okay. Ayan, sige. Uh, sige, let's talk about the, the song, no? Uh, that you, uh, uh, that, that you've released, no? Yung, uh, ito nga yung The Summons. But this is actually uh, an original, uh, kumbaga, this is already the, a cover of, of this song, no? Kasi it was already, uh, ano pa to? Uh, created by John Bell and uh, Graham Mall. Ano? Ano ba ano bang background nitong song na to? Ah, uh, jo, uh, siguro si Joa na lang as natin. Ah, uh, actually sir no. Um gusto ko lang gusto ko lang i-recall during the time na parang gin chat ako ni Sir Les about mm-hmm. uh, kung pwede ako makagawa ng arrangement or ng uh, backing track or minus one for this song. Ang um, parang ang um, parang hamak okay it's a challenge no kasi syempre syempre GM <laughs> yan ng, ng mga album syempre dapat ang um, so anyway going forward so when i listen to the song po ang um, parang when when i check the the piece when i check the when i check the the composer when i check po the the lyrics doon ko po nakita na parang ano siya parang ang um, irish inspired na na I arrange in for the song. That's why kung makikita natin sa melody niya ang um, parang if you close your eyes parang nasa green meadows ka parang tending the sheep. Parang, ah okay. Oh, oh, parang ganun po yung aba ko. So parang so parang for me parang ang um, ang um, how 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 can I get this parang when I listen to the other version naman po na nasa na, na, na YouTube parang I, I, I told myself na ano kaya yung possible na na interpretation no for, parang new interpretation for this song po and then that's why no parang na create yung kanyang arrangement yung kanyang new arrangement so um, going back to the question po parang ganun po yung kanyang yung kanyang theme o kumpanya kanyang topic at saka paulit-ulit lang po siya so for me na parang um, before ko ginawa yung yung music or yung arrangement niya parang pinakinggan ko talaga no yung lyrics ano kaya yung possible na mailagay ko dito no kasi parang to give justice to the original cover also or to give justice to the to the composer of the song din po and then um, um yung gusto ko lang idagdag is uh, yung about sa song parang honestly no when i listen to it especially sa lyrics pa <laughs> parang parang gusto parang may time na parang na ang um, how can how can I tell this parang 
if you are hindi ka sure sa vocation mo, parang magiging pare ka talaga. No? Or parang it's a calling. No? Oh, okay. uh, Joao, hindi pa raw huli. <laughs> hello, 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 Jesuits. <laughs> Sir, now speaking of hello, Jesuits, now I would like also to shout out my very our very supportive parish priest and the assistant parish priest, Father Neo, for our parish priest namin at si Father Wames. Good evening, Father Neo, Father Wames. Okay. Hi, fathers. Hello, mga fathers. Jesuit fathers namin dito. So, parang ganun siya, sir, no? Especially kasi maganda yung pagkakalagay ng lyrics, no? Parang if, kung ako makikinig, na parang hindi, kung hindi ako sure sa mga time, sa mga decision sa life, kung ano talaga ang gusto mo, no? So, when you listen to the lyrics, parang ma-internalize mo talaga yung lyrics siya, sir. Ay, nako. For sure. Pagkatapos. Ma-answer talaga. <laughs> Pagkatapos, ano ka na, decided ka na talaga. <laughs> Just, gagawin ko lang yung sinabi ni Joao. Ito kasing kanta na to is a personal choice of mine. Ayan. Oh, okay. oh, si Father June de Peralta ang may sala. Kasi napakinggan ko siya sa isang retreat. Okay. Uh, I might have encountered this as well, but... Uh, yes, most likely you did. Um, magkasama po kasi kami sa mga retreat. <laughs> um, uh, tapos, tinanap ko yung publisher. Tapos nag-ask ng permission if we can pay the cover. And hence this And then song. they... Yeah. We did not pay for the publishing. Oh, they gave okay. It for That's free. nice. Yung Wild Goose. So we'd like to thank Wild Goose. Um, the publisher who... Um, gave us the permission to publish this song in our own version. Were they able to listen to the the, the cover already or not yet? Ah, uh, we we can play it later. Um. Oh, for them, no. Tiba. Sige. Ayon. Okay. So anyway, sige. Let's uh, ask naman si Basil. Ikaw, Basil. This is uh This is uh I think the. F- ano ba, first time mo ba ulit mag-record ng, ng kanta? Uh, like in a studio? Kasi I understand, no? Diba, we've been out uh, for the past two years. We were able to uh, to record the song in the studio setup, no? Uh, but of course, you you were able to produce pa rin naman during the pandemic, no? Yun nga lang, uh, not in the conventional way no? that we used to do it. Uh, so how was the process and the... Uh, How are you? Ano, parang how how did you feel about it? No, being able to record back in the studio. But pero tama ka just na yung for the past two years, but na limit ang lahat basically not just music ministries, other artists to get creative and ano and uh, record at home. You know? so si nakatwa na kami din na uh, bumalik sa isang studio, sa isang booth and record no so, I, i don't know siguro there's something about um being in a in in a space of your own so kapag nire-record mo yung music elemental mas uh, somehow mas na internalize mo siya kumbaga parang you are alone with the music in that particular time so mas nananamnam mo siya at uh, comment ko lang din si Sir Joao ano nakatuwa kasi uh, yung song na to it's a it's hindi mo siya round song di ba pero para siyang him eh, na pa ulit-ulit yung melody at nakakatuwa on how um alam mo yun natuloy-tuloy yung energy nung song na to uh, because of his arrangement uh, pero personally ako nung binasa ko yung lyrics ng song no kasi uh, katulad ni na Lester siguro siguro the first time i heard it was really the an acoustic version or yung 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 mga medyo mas pop na versions ng kanta pero when when I, when when I started going through the lyrics parang me, me, medyo nakakatakot siya <laughs> kung isipin mo kasi uh, um para siyang ano parang kasi diba the first four or five verses para kang mga pagtawag sila eh, diba it's like the lord calling you to do something the lord calling you to leave to leave what you're doing to be changed to never be the same again diba paulit-ulit 'yon na parang kapag sinundan mo ako magbabago buhay mo kapag sinundan mo ako hindi uh, your life will never be the same again and he goes on to describe 
so many things na parang ang hirap pagdaanan. No? Pero nakakatuwa is pagdating mo dun sa last stanza, yun na yung pagtugon mo. So after kang tinawagan pa ulit-ulit ng Diyos, kumaga, di ba? Dun sa panghuli at panghuling pagkakataon, tumugon ka. It echo the, the, the call of the Lord, the summon of the Lord echoes through your life. And dahil tumugon ka, di ba? Pag, um, na-fulfill mo, basically, kung ano yung gusto niya. So that, that to me was very special. No? Especially in, in this very crucial time in our lives. Di ba? Kung, kung paano tayo tinatawagan na, na tumugon to be something greater than ourselves, to, to leap forward. So, yun. Uh, thank you. Thank you para sa pagkakataong tumugon sa pagtawag ng Diyos through this song. Amen. Ayan. Just na kamuti ka. <laughs> Oo nga eh. <laughs> Nakalimutan ko. Nabanggit ni, ano, ni Basil yung tungkol sa, ano, yung, yung, yung it being a round song, no? Uh, which is uh, as you mentioned then Joao no it 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 has parang irish origins and mukhang parang tama no medyo marami nga sa kan- or sa kanila madalas nang gagaling yung mga alam nating mga round, yung mga round songs no na popular ah uh, di ba ang pinaka popular pa nga di ba yung row 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 your boat di ba na ganun na round song pero do you think it's it has been an, an effective way or a manner of of Ano ba, genre pa to or something. No? Kasi parang, if, if I think about it, no, di ba yung, yun na nga, di ba, pa, a popular, yung isang, yung ang popular na yun na round song na Row, 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 You Boat, parang paulit-ulit mo siyang kinakanta. No? It's already becoming like a, similar to a chant, no? no? Yung, di ba, yung prayer, no? Uh, na, na para bang, paulit-ulit mo siyang dinadasal tapos nagre-recall sa'yo. So which probably would explain why uh, as you said earlier na parang uh, kaya parang tatatak sa iyo at talagang magko-convince sa iyo na uh, na i-pursue mo yung vocation mo dahil nga sa paulit-ulit mo rin siyang kinakanta or is there something else in that in the in the in the actual siguro we were going to ano na parang dissect the song no? uh, or the music is it something like that uh Joao Ang uh, nung nung gin nung ginawa ko sir yung instrumentation ng song para nag-start ako. How can I make this? Kasi siyempre nga no, parang uh, yung kanyang pattern is A B A B A B A B eh. Yes, yung kanya, yes. yung kanyang uh, yung kanyang form. So, ang sabi ko sa self, uh, sabi ko sa self ko para <laughs> nag-reflect na ako nga. How can I make this na parang hindi siya na parang it's just the same, no? So parang every stanza may something different no. So doon na po sir pumapasok yung tinatawag natin na parang ano kaya yung something new sa stanza sa stanza na maiintroduce natin no. Kasi syempre if mag uh, uh, for, for me no if mag puro, puro guitar lang siya for example sa buong stanza parang parang yung ta parang if gusto yung magusto makinig parang gusto mo sabihin na ah uh, what's new no o parang what's parang may may is may something more pa ba that is why po sa five stanzas i would just like to share to the group no na parang build parang gin build up ko yung pagkagawa ko sa instrumentation niya that's why na it started with the violin and the keyboard tapos sa second stanza po pumapasok na po si uh, violin and si oboe parang ganun siya tapos sa third stanza para to make the to make the texture thicker naglagay na po tayo ng strings no naglagay na po tayo ng uh, ano ng strings at saka ng kanyang baseline tapos um, going to the fourth stanza sir parang parang gusto ko may shake no parang ma shake bala na parang unexpected May, kasi ako, ako sir mahilig ako sa mga unexpected na mga na mga wow. pasok, na mga expected na mga na mga na parang hindi lagi na expect sir so that's why parang segue yung bali di ba yung bali oh, oh, oh. so parang segue to the fourth verse yung ginawa ko instrumentation na parang ini-imagine ko as i mentioned to sir Les also and sir Basil parang ini-imagine ko na 
pag-chamber, uh, yung nag-play, may part din yung chamber. That is why gin-repeat ng chamber, ng chamber instruments yung melodic pattern ng first part. Pero hindi siya nag-proceed sa next kasi nag-modulate siya. No? Pa nag-modulate siya into a different key. So parang if uh, kung ako yung mag- uh, Uh, yung personal reflection ko doon parang okay so akala nila doon na pupunta pero hindi pa pala chamber lang yung instrument na yung nagplay pero uh, nagmodulate siya into a different key tapos doon sa dif- sa my verse 4 na sa different key na siya sir yung parang ang uh, parang binagyan ko siya ng change ng rhythm in between that's why yung ating uh, string yung string natin yung violin at saka yung violin 2 parang meron siyang uh, syncopated rhythm no sa so my verse 4 just to give sa ating mga listeners bala na parang oh okay so yes yes no so what's next no what's next parang ganon tapos syempre kasi parang for me parang parang this song especially sa lyrics para para makapag-reflect pa yung tao sa verse 5 yung meaning yung very last verse no parang gin trim down lahat ng instrumentation niya so that to focus to the new message sa verse 5 kasi as, as Sir Basil mentioned early uh, earlier yung parang verse 1 verse verse 3 parang calling tapos sa verse 4, verse 5, doon na yon yung parang uh, iba na yung, yung, theme, ng, yung theme ng lyrics. So para mas clearer yung meaning, so nagsubdue tayo sa kanyang, ano, sa kanyang instrumentation para mas mapalabas po, sir, yung lyrics ng song. Kasi I think the verse 5 is isa sa mga important na na part ng song. Tapos sa last part, meron lang tayong deceptive cadence, no, to end. Tapos gin repeat lang yung last verse. So parang ganun siya. So for me as a musician, sir, parang gin visualize ko siya na uh, are you familiar with the greater than and less than. So parang nagaganito si sir. Oh. Okay. So nag-start siya dito, tapos in between nag-build up, tapos pagbalik niya sa my last part, parang nag mellow naman yung kanyang instrumentation. So parang yun yung picture ng nang gin nang gin envision ko para ano sir um, for this song para mas mapalabas pagid yung uh, potential din ng song at uh, saka sir i would like lang sir no nung narinig ko yung voice ni sir Basil na kinanta yung song para sabi ko o m g parang grabe sir no lord kidiya <laughs> yan kasi sir i w- Let me take this time, sir, to appreciate. Okay lang po ba? Okay lang po ba, sir? No? Yes, go ahead. Um, what I really like record ng song is yung breathing, no? yung phrases. So, isa, isa, isa kasi yan sa, sa, mga, sa mga technicalities no? na kailangan na, na, na isang, na, na, to, na para mas clearer yung message. No? At ako yung, yung, yung magandang pag-interpret. No? So, yung breathing, yung phrases, yung parang ano, ama ko, grabe. For example, parang six measures, walang, walang, walang ganun. So, grabe, sir, Basil, grabe yung... Kasi for me, sir, nung na-complete yung mga, yung mga phrases at saka yung breathing, for me, parang it gives a complete no, thought na sa isang part. So parang hindi siya balaging cut. So I really appreciate it, sir. No? At saka parang ano ko, OMG, parang ako, okay, wow, grabe, grabe, grabe. So yan lang, sir. No? So gina-appreciate ko lang talaga, sir, yung pag-interpret uh, no? or pag-sing ni Sir Basil. Um, pero... Yun yun, yun yung yung vision ko sa song at saka happy naman ako Sir Justin and Sir Les na parang na na, na hit naman yung target or yung vision ko po. Ayan. At since ano no Les, <laughs> so talagang na, na picture natin yung yung effort na in, na na pinut ni uh, ni Joao dito no and of course uh, we're also excited to listen how it was interpreted by Basil siguro baka pwede na natin silang bigyan ng Sige, ng ano oh. panoorin natin yung ano yung official lyric video na ginawa natin for the summons take Sige it away na. James
but call your name Will you care for cruel and kind And never be the same Will you risk the hostile stare Should your life attract or scare Will you let me answer prayer in you Set the prisoners free and never be the same. Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you? All right, and that was uh, the summons. Ayan. Uh, of course, uh, music by John Bell and Graham Graham Mall, and of course arranged by Joel Solas and performed by John Basil. Wow, grabe ah. Actually, nung, nung ano no, tama yung mga descriptions ni ano no, ni Joel. Uh, pero for me kasi parang sabi ko nung narinig kong kinanta ni ni Basil parang teka po na parang nagtunog balad <laughs> parang nagbalad naging balad siya for me at at at, at a certain point uh, but it's a very ano no tama i agree it's a moving song uh, moving in the sense na ano daga nararamdaman mo yung may may ano may indayog yung pag-awit uh, Kaya nga, o, oh, tama ka doon sa sinabi mo rin kanina na piling ko may biglang lalabas na tupa dyan. Maglalakad. <laughs> <laughs> Para kang feeling mo nasa ano ka, nasa, nasa green pastures. Ayun. Ang galing. Ang, ang napakaganda, napakaganda. Ah, siguro, ang tanong ko lang, uh, ano, uh, kay, kay, ano, siguro kay Basil, nung, when you were, when you're preparing yourself to sing this song, uh, parang, How how did you kasi syempre we again know na sa kanina sinabi na ni Joao di ba na parang uh, there was this uh, challenge for him to convert a plain round song into something na uh, mas 
more ano with you know with the texture uh with additional texture pero ikaw naman on the on the part of the voice there was there any preparation uh to actually put some color in in, in what you in, in in singing it aside from getting swab aside from getting swab Ah, actually, ganun din, ganun din I guess yung naging sort of struggle ko nung tinatay kong aralin paano siya interpret. Uh, unang-una, tama, no? Kasi the mel- it's just uh, uh, it's the same melody na paulit-ulit siya throughout the song. Pero what ang appreciate ko, no? And yung iba actually, nakuha ko lang dun sa recording, yung how intricate ginawa ni Joao yung yung arrangement pati yung mga stops yung mga gaps between a few notes nung mm-hmm. instrumentation marinig mo so uh, at some point parang I had to make a conscious effort to ano to alam mo yun para makuha yung mga ganun para mapalitaw din yung mga yun uh, and at the same time nung nagre-record din kasi yun nga kasi kanina di ba minention yung bali parang try mong baliin yung yung melody yung repetitiveness niya para kahit pa paano di ba mapaangat mo yung kanta merong ibang parts ng kanta na min- minsan sinubukan ko kung lagyan ng kulot ng ate I think si, si Lester was there no pero uh, I was reminded y- yung wife ko was there also ching um and si Judith was was also there they, they reminded me no, na in sometimes in doing those things diba? pag you know, overcomplicate mo yung isang napakagandang kanta isang napakasimple at gandang arrangement na katulad nito minsan wawala yung music ah uh, laging sinasabi ni Father Manuling diba? kapag gumagawa or nag-arrange ng kanta for bukas palad makakanta ba yan ng yes arrangement? is it something that they will listen to and say wow ang galing niya or will they listen to it and hear the actual message marinig ba nila yung yung pagtawag ng just through the song so i think that was a good reminder for me nung actual recording na yun na parang napakaganda na ng kantang to napakaganda na ng arrangement napakaganda na ng message we need not overcomplicate it so yun ganun lang uh, sundan mo na lang yung melody sundan mo na lang yung pag pag pagtigil at pagtuloy ng instrumentation ni Joao and, and if it came out so yun <laughs> nakatuwa yun, yun yung naging preparation at ano mga instant changes <laughs> nung no, no, nagre-record and Tapang I agree kasi nga di ba like I'm okay, oh, sorry go ahead yes tapag iti basil si Ching Ching was there during the recording so salamat kay Ching kasi siya kay Jude <laughs> Judith. Judith. <laughs> Isa sa mga producer natin dito sa show um, who helped out. Kasi, nung araw ng recording na yon yun yung showing natin just ng Himige Suita. So, <laughs> Pagalang-galan ako from uh-huh. the recording uh-huh. to the show. So, they really helped out. Um, bantayan si Basil. Bantayan talaga yung Judith. <laughs> 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 so, so, uh, thank you uh-huh. kay Ting and kay Judith. And of course, kay Toto Sarioso. Yes. Uh-oh. At some point, Pero, si Jake din tumulong. Si Jake Gomez tumulong na rin sa ano. Pero I agree with, ano ha, I agree with, um, uh, with Basel na, tama, no, we need, we need, sometimes we need not to overcomplicate things kasi nga, it will just, um, come out naturally. And I think you did. It, it actually happened in this song. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga, di ba, parang it was a fresh take into into it. Kasi I also, I remember now the original uh, comp- uh, rendition of it, no, na medyo, uh, yun na nga, no, again, it's kind of repetitive in, the, in that sense. Uh, pero dito, may, may, ano eh, may certain, at certain ta- points, may mga, iba na maririnig ka and i guess it it was very helpful that there were uh variations in the uh, instrumentation which made it very distinct no in, in uh, on a per stanza basis no ang ganda so kaya i ano this is really a fresh take into the ano of, of that song siguro at this point uh ano no uh, less better we ask them no how 
how siguro how how did they generally um feel about uh doing this project <laughs> no and uh siguro at, uh, you may want to also continue on with uh, inviting our listeners to you know to, to listen to the song and how they would be able to um get the message of it siguro so yeah uh siguro let's start with uh base Okay. Uh, generally, feel about the song. Tama ba? Yun yung unang tanong. Tama ba? Yes. Yung, yung ha- and, uh, the, and the project in general. The project in general. Actually, nakatawa. Um, this entire album, I think, uh, no, is, is a great big celebration of Ignatian spirituality. Of our spirituality. Di ba? Bilang... Katoliko. Nakatuwa rin yung na nagkaroon ako ulit ng pagkakataon to to offer to to ano, di ba? To to serve in a way by by recording a song, di ba? Not many people are are given that opportunity na magse-serve ka by doing something that you really that you really like to do. So, it was a very big blessing to me. At the same time, I think it came at the right time. para sa akin, di ba? Means it's sa amin, um, God moves in mysterious ways and He uses music too in 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 doing so. So, nakatuwa na itong message na to came to me through this song, no? yung yung pagtawag ng Diyos to do a lot of things, to really go out of your comfort zone and start following Him. Nakatulong siya greatly nung Holy Week and uh, even nung ano, no? even nung itong Huling Sunday, Um, um, the, the, the story about doubting Thomas, the story about the ascension, na kakalipas lang. It really talks about a lot of things. Na minsan hindi mo na mapapaniwalaan bilang tao, no? That that, that God is able to do, uh, and the, the miracles that God is able to perform sa mga buhay natin. And this song definitely is one of those uh, miracles for me. Susana. Um, yung last stanza no? magampan ma- ma- ako siya matugunan ko siya to really grow uh, in 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 love basically sa pagtugon sa Diyos so yeah um, yeah I don't know what else I can say pero sana mapakinggan ng ano ng mga listeners natin sana ma-share nila yung ganitong message lalo na sa time na ngayon na kailangan talagang tumugon ng mga tao ng mga Pilipino basically no Uh, para para ipaglaban yung kinabukasan natin in this very crucial time in our history. So yun, yun na lang sa aming panalangin ko. And an amen to that. How about Joao? Joao? Okay, so thank you, sir. First of all, ang um, uh, yung feeling ko about the song and the project is, sabi ko, makakaya ko ba ito? Sorry, makakaya. Makakaya ko ba ito? Or makaya ko ba la ini? No? Kasi sir, this project is parang nangyayari siya online. No? So yung meeting namin with Sir Les online, yung meeting namin with Sir Basil, uh, with Kuya Basil online, tapos yung tapos nag-work kami sa email. No? Send sa mga draft, send sa mga sa mga lahat-lahat. No? So parang nga ba ko, And then during the time na record si Sir ni, ni Kuya Basil yung video no parang na, parang if meron akong chance to be there parang sana nang para nang doon din ako so that makagive din ako ng emotional support no ng mga at least para at least um ang um, parang yun nga para at least ma, ma, I can also help no sa mga kahit sa konting bagay na ma-help po kasi yun kasi kasi ano lang yun yung yung situation eh mahirap pa yung travel at saka may, uh, during the time busy din lahat so and I am thankful to God din sir no kasi natapos yung project na as I mentioned earlier parang na na kung ano yung gina-envision Uh, namin after that meeting na to happen sa song na ito. So para uh, and and this is my first project with uh, ano with uh, JM. Yeah. So, opo. So parang nakaka-pressure din. Pero hindi talaga ako nakafeel ng parang takot kasi very uh, supportive at saka si at saka si Sir si Sir Les at si Kuya Vatsel very supportive. Parang ang gaan lang no na ang gaan lang sa feeling na to accomplish this project especially na yun nga hindi pa kami nag-meet in person 
sa Zoom <laughs> ko at saka sa email, no? And uh, yun din. And sana, sir, ang... Um, I hope na this song sir will also help those no especially na ang uh, uh, especially sa lyrics no if they listen to this song I hope na sana if nasa crossroads sila sa kanilang buhay especially sa decision I hope that when they listen to this song and when they uh, reflect no and when they uh, when when they reflect and listen to this song sana this will somehow give them uh, an answer no or help them choose no so kun ano man yan yung cho- ang gusto nila or sana ang um, it will also help them no to see no or to look sa desires of their heart especially sa kanilang profession sa kan- whether to choose passion or profession no uh, whether to choose going uh, whether to choose going outside of your comfort zones mga ganon blesser no so i i hope and i pray now Um, ang sa cover na ito na this will help them sa kanilang crossroads sa kanilang life. And then sir, last but not least, I would like to promote no uh, to help promote this song. So thank you, thank you good sir sa opportunity sa opportunity sa trust no sa pagsalig no sa trust sa akin to to make uh, this project and I would like to thank you also sir those especially sa nag-support sa aking CMSI family no especially sa time na medyo pagod na pero uh, I need also to to edit and to record this song so sa support at saka sa Santa Maria Parish sa sa aming parish priest at saka sa aking family and then sa aking friends especially sa mga kasama ko sa grand choir shout out talaga sa kanila kay because sir to be honest And um, together with my, uh, uh, together with Sir Jomel, Bea, AA Darwin, sila po sir yung mga first critic ko sa paggawa nito. So I ask them, ano, ano pa ang pwede? Like, um, do you think kung kakantahin ito ng singer, kaya ba? Parang ganon. Kung ganito yung speed, okay lang ba? So at least meron ako parang mirror, sir. And thank you. Thank you, thank you talaga sa kanila for that support. And I hope, sir, no, um, And I hope and I pray na talaga, as I mentioned earlier, this will help those sa may mga crossroads in life. And enjoy the song po. Salamat. Amen. Amen. Ano ko? Huwag uh, kang mag-alala, no? Again, this will, perhaps, even if it's your first, I definitely think that this will not be your last. Kasi, gabi, ang ganda ng, ang ganda ng, ano, ng pagkakagawa. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of our katipuneros out there, uh, will enjoy listening and of course praying along with with uh, our newest single uh, the summons ayan so muli maraming salamat sa ating mga kasama no uh, Basil and Joao thank you for joining us tonight and uh, for introducing us uh, our uh, new uh, release ayan uh, of course yes uh, maybe have your uh, announcements for us yes um Ulitin ko lang po yung aming invitation for you to listen to our new album. Ang title po niya is All Things Are New. These songs are dedicated for the 500th anniversary of the conversion of St. Ignatius. Um, kahit na matatapos na yung um, quincentennial um, anniversary ng conversion ni San Ignacio, um, the songs are very relevant. Yung naman po ng album na ito. There are 16 songs. And then may apat na mga instrumental songs so you can sing along. Um, it's available on all digital music platforms anywhere in the world. And then we're releasing the lyric videos of all the songs in the album every Friday sa YouTube channel natin. That's at Jesscom Music. Um, and follow um, us on our social media accounts. We are on TikTok, um, Spotify. Uh, IG, Twitter, that's Jesuit Music PH um, para po sa mga updates. Ayan. And uh, of course, no, uh, maraming salamat din sa ating mga, na, mga nanood sa atin. No? Let's just uh, quote a few uh, people who are joining us uh, 
tonight no uh sabi ni Dennis si, Do- si Dennis Grospe uh who we had uh, as our guest last time no uh, he commented na nakakamis mag-serve no sa mga Pascal Triduo yeah. and then sabi ni Ignatius Fajardo this is my first time uh I think he's referring to do watching us no so for the greater glory of God no okay. eh Pangalan mo pala, alam na alam na natin. <laughs> Ayan, uh, just bati din natin si Jen Chua, si uh, Miss Marie Pesolas, tapos si Leonor, Terehil Lobaton. Ayan, sabi niya, proud ka lo here, go si MSI. And of course, si Ching. Ayan, nanonood ngayong gabi. Magandang gabi po. And happy anniversary kay Ching at saka kay Basil. Ay, wow. Oh, nga. Yes. Oh. Hi. Happy, 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 Anib. Sa inyong dalawa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ayan. Ako. Uh, at uh, pansin ko nga, wala na tayong oras. No? Maraming maraming salamat po muli sa ating mga panauhin ngayong gabi. And of course, uh, please continue to support our music by, of course, following us on our uh, socials. And also, of course, uh, checking out our music in uh, all digital Uh, music platforms worldwide of course uh of course uh syempre, uh we will be back next week again for another yes. uh edition of uh, your jmm radio uh of course we will just announce uh our next um, episode episode uh, natin episode. tungkol sa mga mm-hmm. lectors just mga lectors Ah, oh, no, relate, relate ka chan kasi ikaw lang lector ka din nako sige exciting yan At so, so muli, uh, maraming salamat po uh, for keeping us company tonight, uh, this uh, 27th of April. Uh, I think, how many days na lang ba till the election? Parang a week before the elections. Ayan. So bumoto, uh, muli ang aming paalala, bumoto po tayo ng, uh, ano, uh, let's uh, do, uh, ano to? Uh, let's uh, make a conscience vote. Ayan. So muli maraming salamat po and uh, sa ngalan ng aming mga producers na sina Adam, Chris, Judith, and Princess. Uh, ako po si Justin Pontino mula sa Radio Katipunan. Sa ngalan po ng aking katuwang, si JMM, si Kuya Rima Lipot, ang aming tech na si James Wong. Ako po si Lester Mendiola mula sa JMM at iiwanan namin kayo ng panghuling awit namin ngayong gabi. Ito ay ang Panata sa Puso. Um, one of the tracks from our album All Things and New. Ito ay inawit ni Kuya Ray Malipot at ni Maan Binateta. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good evening everyone. Bye!
Rejoice, refresh, renew, and reflect. Join us for an hour of music that uplifts the soul. Listen to your favorite Jesuit music ministry artists. This is JMM Radio. JMM Radio. Get your day's dose of inspirational music. Tune in to JMM Radio every Wednesday from 1 to 2 p.m. Only here on Radio Katipunan. 87.9 FM Radyo Katipunan News Insights Inspiration Radyo Katipunan Down from the hill and down to the world Radyo Katipunan The voice of the Blue Eagle Christ.